Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This seed, go north. Basically, you've got all but uh, the Ashlands boss to the north of you. And they're pretty close together along with the Hildra quests, the Hildra mini bosses. It's a, actually a pretty solid seed. Except you're going to have to turn south eventually to get to the Ashlands, but we're going to get into it. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So, of course, we have a Maypole, and here it is. And this Maypole is actually very, very close to the water, which is something that I always look for. I like having maypoles close to the water. This is open ocean. You'll see when we take a look at the World Sea Discovery map. Um, here is the village. Uh, it's got a lot of raspberries. Uh, this will be a great place to set up a farm. There's your little rest hut area right here. Um, you've got some swamps. So you're going to get some necks eventually. Uh, there's a deer spawn over here. Um... And of course, you got one building here that you can build up real quickly. The, the issue may be, though, when there's a big storm, you may have this may overrun with with water. I don't know how far it comes in. I I, I just don't remember. Um, I don't think it'll come in that far, though. But yeah, a lot of raspberries. This would be a great little place to uh, base up. I think you could build a nice little base here. Again, this little swamp, you could fill that in if you wanted or dig it out. Deer spawn, raspberries, uh, some piggies running around. You know, if for nothing else, you can make a nice little farm out of it. And of course, you've got your maple right here, which is something that we look for. Now, you will not be able to get here unless you go into cheat mode or you have a boat. Okay, this is across the ocean. It's not that far, but here's your spawn. But it is directly north of the spawn. It is just go north and you'll be fine. And that's why... This whole seed is basically go north. Um, and you're going to see in a minute, the traders are north. The Hilder quests are kind of northwest. Uh, the bosses are there. They're all fairly close together, though. You're not going to have to travel too much until you get to Ashlands. But let's take a look at it. So here's the generator. Okay, now you can technically run up to this maypole. Okay, this is attached. Well, not attached, but you know, remember when we look at the, the map generator, everything here looks further away than it really is in game. You can navigate up here. You can just run up here and get to this maypole. So yet yeah, no, you don't actually need a boat to get to the maypole, okay? But here's the spawn. It is pretty far away. Uh, but you can run up there and it's a nice little maypole location. I like it. Um bosses. Your elder is over here to the north of the spawn. You're going to have to sail to that. But like I said, when we head north, you've got bone mass, motor, yagloth. Okay. Got an elder up here as well. You can grab this one. This is probably the one you're going to grab. You're going to have to sail up here anyways to get to these three. But if we inch a little bit further, we've got the queen up here as well. So we've got all, we've got four bosses right here to the north. We've got an elder to the north up here and an elder over here. Now, this elder is going to be important in a minute, and I'll show you. But, yeah, most everything is to the north. Now, let's take a look quickly down south. You've got options here as well. Okay, you've got your bone mass, Yagloth, elder, and motor to the south as well. Your queen is way over here, though. That's kind of an issue. You are going to end up going south eventually to get to the Ashlands. The Ashlands are static. They will always be in the south. Always. You know, Mistlands can be anywhere. Uh, the Swamp can be anywhere. Maps are randomly generated. But Ashlands and the Deep North will always be static. So for this play, I'm saying go north. Now you can go west as well. You've got a bunch, a clump of bosses over here. There's no motor, of course. And there's a queen. But this is very attractive okay you've got everything well not everything you don't have a you don't have an elder if there was an elder here it'd be super sweet but you've got bosses right here okay and so is it a speed run 
No. However, once you get ready for bone mass, you're going to have everything very close by. You should be all set. Well, let's take a look at the traders. And they're to the north as well. Okay. Um, you've got a Hildur here and a Haldor here. So that's why your play is probably going to be to the north. But look at this little island right here. You've got plenty. Um, there's a lot over here as well. There's plenty of traders near this maple. Yeah, you're going to have to get in a boat to get to them. Um, we're getting into cheat mode. But it, it's not like you're going to have... It, they're not super spread out, which is nice. Now, the quests. Look at these Hilder quests. Okay, you've got all three of them right up here to the north. Okay, and you've got your elder up here. You've got a Hilder uh, um, trader here. Uh, this is actually very good for Hilder quests. Um, so like I said, the seed is go north. <laughs> okay, you're at the Maypole. I'm recommending you go north here. Okay, activate this Haldor, activate this Hildur, and you've got your mini bosses here. You can get over here to this Elder somehow if you want, but definitely go north. You've got this Elder right here on the water. It'll be easy to get to. Um, a very attractive seed. I think this would be a fun play really for anybody, um, particularly if you want to experience a lot of Valheim from the beginning but you don't necessarily want to have to go discover everything um you're gonna have to build a boat and you can get get in it and you could get basically all of your boss stuff and your traders all in a very close proximity but you're gonna have to sail so it's not horrible so let's take a look at dungeons because that's really where it's at right that's what we want to see so for all of our bosses or the biomes that we're going to visit that have bosses, we want to see the requisite um, resources in that biome so we don't have to go anywhere else, right? We just go one spot and it's got everything. It, burial chambers are okay. You've got a few by this elder. You're not, but the, the main thing is you've got plenty in your path up to your maypole. All right, so, you know, for the Black Forest, you should, th this is plenty. Ma farm this area up right here and you'll have plenty of burial chambers you should be get you'll have plenty of certling cores you'll get all the shit all the stuff that you need uh, just by running up from the spawn you'll be okay here um again this is starter area stuff in my opinion you know the black force is one of my favorite biomes uh and this will be you got plenty here now let's take a look at this bone mass again i'm i'm saying the play for this seed is to the north it's okay you need a lot of iron in valheim iron age is that it's that transition period where things get very challenging i think bone mass is still one of the harder bosses um i, I definitely think it's harder than motor motor is actually fairly straightforward if you dig down but motor bone mass is actually pretty hard in my opinion um this is a decent swamp you've got enough sunken crypts here to get as much iron as you're probably going to need unless you really really go heavy into the iron um I, this is enough and I, again there's going to be everything else in here that you're going to need right however you're flanked by a couple of planes biomes so be careful of those mosquitoes. those have been my bane of existence since i started playing valheim i love mosquitoes and i hate them all the same <laughs> All right, so now we want to take a look at this motor. Now, this motor, it's not just the frost caves. We want to see if there's eggs up here as well. There's enough. Um, you know, five is a good amount for, for, for near a motor location, okay? Um, you know, you ideally, you want, you want it to be flooded, right? You want to have as many options as you possibly can get into the biomes that you're going. Uh, it is what it is. I don't know how many, I don't know how much resources you're going to be pulling out of these frost caves, but there's enough. But let's take a look at the Tetra Lake, see if there's any in here. Let's take a minute to load. There's one. Um, that's good. This is a good motor location, and we need to see the boss items. We need to see the dragon eggs. 
This is going to take a minute to load as well. All right. So you've got four near this motor. You need three to activate motor. And you probably want to grab one for your base. I like to have it as a keepsake. The other mountain biomes around here have eggs. But this is the motor that you're going to. Overall, this is a very good motor location. Um, you need three eggs to spawn her. You've got four in the area. You've got um, frost caves. Definitely take your time to invest in this motor, in this mountain location. Farm the whole thing up. You'll probably have plenty of wolves. There'll probably be plenty of silver up there. Um, again, you're, you've got a huge uh, plains location to the north. So be careful. Those mosquitoes again, they'll come and get you. Um we're going to go right to infested mines right now. There's enough by the queen. Um, I don't really spend a lot of time in the mist lands. I don't like the mist lands. So uh, you do you, but this is going to be a good mist lands. It's right up right in the, the wheelhouse of where you want to be for um, the bosses. Anyways, let's get rid of those Tetra lakes. Um, yeah, so not bad. Anyways, let's take a look. At Yagloth. Now with Yagloth. Yagloth is a very unique boss. Because Yagloth very rarely has. The goblin camps. By the actual spawn. So if you get. Five goblin camps. With the totems. Close by Yagloth. You're actually doing really well. It's going to take a minute for them to spawn in here. And this Yagloth. Location is exceptional. This there's enough to get you the five totems right here. Um, I've looked at a lot of seeds. As as many of you know who are subscribed to my channel, I've looked at hundreds. <laughs> okay. And very rarely do you get a Yagloth with a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of the goblin camps right by the boss. This is a very good Yagloth collect, um, location. Let's take a look at... Oh, where the hell are the, um, is it material? Yes. Okay. We want to see the tar pits. Plenty of tar pits as well. Excellent. So excellent Yagloth, excellent motor, very good bone mass. That's one of the reasons why this is such a good play going to the north. All three of these regions up here, the, the biomes, you're not going to need to go anywhere else, which is great. Um, we'll do the queen run through as well, and we'll do fader. Um, I don't really do too much with the mistlands, as as many of you know. Um, there's your infested mines. We'll look at the resources, material for her as well. Okay. Um not bad. I mean, this is a good Mistlands location. There's enough here, right? You're going to be able to, you'll be done with Yagloth. You'll probably build a base here because Yagloth, you want the farm location. Um, you'll be able to go up here and get enough in the Mistlands if you choose to do that biome. Not bad. Um, quickly, we'll take a look at Fader down here. This is where things get a little uh, harder for you. Which is, you know, by this time you're at end game, anyways. Now remember, you've got boss options to the south as well. You don't have to take the northern play. That's just the way I did it, because of the traders and because of the um, Hilder mini bosses. Okay, but you can come to the south here. There's plenty of bosses. You don't have a motor around here though. That's the the weak. Well, this one here, but and then you've got a queen over here. I mean, these are more spread out. So if you're in cheat mode, you can just fly down here and grab all these if you want. The interesting aspect of this is you've got a Yagloth right here, which is on this little island. Um, that would make for a really hard fight. Yagloth can be uh, pretty brutal. The Elder right here in the ocean is pretty cool too. But anyways, here's your fader. Um, Honestly, we don't need to open up all the resources for these because the, the Ashlands is concentrated. It's always in the south. It's always just going to be a couple of little locations. And either any one of these that you want to go to is going to have plenty of resources. 
Okay, get rid of the vine berries. That's a lot. Um, sulfur arches. Vine berries. I mean, this one in the middle, this big island, that's the one you're probably going to want to go to. Not bad. Um, what else can I show you here? Uh, let's get the map cleaned up a little bit. Okay, looks like I've got everything checked off that I don't want to see, which is good. Okay, um... Look at miscellaneous. This Leviathan, that's what we want to check. I'll take a minute for this to populate. We want a couple up here. And there are. Um, when you're heading north, the northern play, which is what I recommended, there's plenty of Leviathans to get your Abyssal Harpoons and Abyssal Razor, if that's what you so want to do you definitely want to get a harpoon because you want serpents you definitely want the trophy for the serpent it's pretty cool um there's plenty to the south as well uh so there's that do we have any boar stones let's take a look rune stones boar rune you've got one by this maypole um there's plenty down here by the spawn uh you know normally when what i recommend is when you get to the maypole location or you get to to wherever you're going to base up try to get your boars domesticated as early as possible it's one of the first things that you do even if you don't have the copper to build a knife yet still get them still get them domesticated because eventually you'll be able to harvest them right and the other thing that you want to do is you want to get queen bees I forget where what category that is. This, the map generator has changed a lot in the last uh, year, and uh, it's definitely better, in my opinion. I just can never remember where the hell everything is. Every, <laughs> you know, so uh, is it under other structures? I don't think so. No. Um, we will find it. Just bear with me a minute. Uh, where the hell? Well, they're the troll caves. Um, can just set up a nice little portal base in those, but I don't don't think you're gonna need it here. You just you're definitely gonna want to sail. Um, I can't remember where the hell the beehives are, and I want to see where they are. So you know what? We're gonna find them. It's not a miscellaneous material. Beehives. There it is. Um, plenty. Well, there's two, but <laughs> I shouldn't say plenty. There's two by the maple, but there's three or four right here by the spawn right and what you're probably going to do is you're probably going to build a portal hub down here by your spawn anyway so you don't have to keep sailing back and forth um grab a couple of queen bees before you make it to your maypole on your run up uh just grab two or three if you get four you that's fine but if you've played valheim for any length of time you know that once you get the bee the queen bees rolling they produce honey on the regular, you'll have a surplus of honey before you know it. Honey is a great food for fighting Ichthyr, one of your first, um, your, your very first boss fight. It, Ichthyr is very simple to do, but having honey is a great starter food for that fight. But you're going to want it later on for meats anyways. Um, overall, I think this is going to be probably an eight and a half. And I say it's an eight and a half because I think this is an excellent seed for just anybody to do a playthrough, right? If you want to experience Valheim from start to finish, um, you know, building a boat, sailing around, discovering things, this is going to be a great seed for you. The best part about it is, is things are clumped together. We've got those Hildur mini bosses all in a close area by the Hildur trader. We've got that clump of bosses to the north east-ish type which are fairly close together um and we've got this great maypole location that i think um it may not be the best aesthetic build location but it's a very good build location in terms of proximity to other things and of course you got a maypole now maypoles are not required for you to play valheim maypoles are the only item in valheim that randomly appear and they do not appear on every single seed uh boars appear everywhere on every seed elder appears everywhere on every seed 
Dandelions appear in every seed, but maypoles do not. Maypoles are not required for you to play play Valheim, but they do add plus one minute to your rested bonus. And the rested bonus is important when you fight bosses, particularly after the Elder. Once you start fighting Bone Mass, you will need the rested bonus. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you coming by and taking your time to watch my content. As always, the only thing that I ask is that you leave a like, maybe leave a comment and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. I would appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.